These guys are everywhere. Oh no, there's Casadors. Oh no, we're so dead. Everything is bad in the world. And uh, I regret everything. I regret everything. Uh, are Cazadors somehow fighting something else? Oh, we were down there. Oh, yeah, you got your luck, good luck with you. Um, we're gonna fight Cazadors now. Are they young ones? Nope. Some of them are. Wow. Huh? I'm poisoned. I am poisoned. Um, I don't think I have antidotes with me. No, I do. Not that many. There's a lot of things in here. We got a train up in here. And we also need to find a place to sleep because this is... This is uh, quite something. Calville Bay. Cop car. Things croaking at me. Uh, Eddie. You have doctor's bags. So I can fix my face. It's not in my face, but... That way we can go back to being normal. What is that? Okay, well, it's more Cazadors. This time around, I don't have anti-venom. Although it's the tiny ones, so good luck. Come on. Wait. We did it. I'm I'm still poisoned, but we don't we don't worry about that. It's fine. Got a lot of bolts in here. There's a lot of there's more enemies. Let's not worry about that right now. So these are our Cazador nests. And that's Cazador poison that you're hearing. I know it doesn't sound like poison. It sounds like a whip or, some, or, or something like that. But we don't talk about the sound design decisions. I don't think... I don't think Fallout 3 has poison. Because this is the weirdest sound ever, honestly. Seriously, it's like, who thought it was intuitive? Because the, the first time you, you hear the sound, you're like, what is going on in the world? Because it's so ever-present. Ooh, boat rentals. Oh, there's giant rats in here. Eddie, stop killing the giant rats. They growl. Eddie's killing the giant rats. And so is Veronica. And I'm taking the cutting boards. Unrelated. Wait. Oh. I thought for a moment that uh, the knives had negative value. And I was like, that cannot be. And I don't think it can be. More blue sunset sarsaparilla. We got purified water in here. And sunset sarsaparilla. Got some beer. Yeah, there's a lot of those. What is this? There's a radio in here, isn't there? It's making noise. I don't know where it is. But we got a safe. There we go. Some good things. Seriously, what's making that noise? Oh, I know what it is. It's the hula, hula dolls. The hula dolls make noise. Oh, what a weird thing. Also, they shouldn't. Because, you know, what What do they operate out of? Sun? Light? Batteries? Batteries would be dead. Long dead. And Eddie... Eddie should be... Eddie, Eddie Ed's been dead for many times. Always look for books, though. But there's no books around here. Or beds, for that matter. I really need one. Captain Dean Boats and Bait. Rentals. Worms, ice cream. I... Okay. So, I mean... I can't... I, I can't say that the ice cream is a bad thing. Nobody can say that the ice cream is a bad thing. So the sleep deprivation 
is only minus one agility. Uh, these things are moving way too fast. These are more Cazadors. I don't like this. Eddie doesn't like it either. Oh my god! Okay, I'm poisoned now, and this time, for good. Because it's the big guys. So I don't think I will survive. There's Cazador so all over the place. Let me see what I can do here. For this in the survival aspect. So we got the steam packs. Healing powder. Yeah, we're gonna need to take a steam pack. Oh, there's a my uh, it's a Myra lurker. Oh my god, he did so much damage. Okay. There's more. Yeah, we're still taking tremendous amounts of damage. Super steam pack. Veronica is very upset about life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't take damage from that. Okay. Okay, the coast is clear. Literally. We're just a little bit on the... Injured side of things. I'm thinking that maybe I could drink from the water... And offset the poison. But let's find out. There's the airplane. I think it's about constitution. I don't know what that is up there. Well, my character doesn't know anyway. There's fish. Hmm. I'm just exploring a little bit right now. Let's get our rebreather on. We have literally a power armor helmet. But a rebreather is better. I think. I think we're supposed. There it is. To attach the ballasts to the wings. And this is a small B-29, isn't it? It's way too small. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's a miniature airplane. The one in the anger somehow felt bigger. I don't know. Is that all? Yes, it is. Return to the shore near the tow winch and use Loyal's detonator to float the B-29 to surface. I will do this thing that you ask of me. I'll also re-equip my power helmet. Oh, that's that's where we were. Maybe we're going to be able to find a, uh, a bed a bed in the in that floating platform off in the in the middle of the lake. This scared the crap out of me just then. Absolutely he did. Well, the plane floats. Not in the sky, but on the water. Which is better than nothing, I suppose. Let's see what what exists over there. Well, well, well. Scavenger platform. Freaking radios. There's some ammo. Hmm? A campfire. Wait, what was that? Slasher. <gasps> wow, maybe I'll be able to f to mix that with... Uh... That's pretty good. Maybe I'll be able... I just need more banana yucca, I think. Um, maybe I'll be able to mix that with uh, the other damage threshold increasing thing. I don't remember what it is. Med X, I think. And if that's the... I don't think I will. 
I think there's probably a maximum uh, damage threshold that you can improve at. Because I, what happens, what I think happens is that there's a, uh, that, that, oh, we may be able to sleep in here. Um, what I think happens is that the, um, yeah, we can sleep in here. It's fantastic. Each drug, the drugs don't stack, basically. And so me taking a bunch of med doesn't actually achieve much. So let's sleep for seven hours. Wasteland Survival Guide. A nod, for sure, to uh, Fallout 3, but also a nod to uh, the optional book for Fall 1, I think. I think it was called Wasteland for Survival Guide. I'm not really sure. And more ammo. Hmm. Yep. That's the other side of the river over there. Anyway, let's go back. The boomers are going to be really happy about us. Loyal! It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Yeah, your plan worked. The, the plane floated up. It, it seemed to be intact, apart from all the broken things. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Well, okay. I'm glad I have helped. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, you do. I think, in fact, so much work that we're only going to hear from him... Um, at the end of the game. Maybe even at the ending uh, vignettes. But I think before that, we're going to hear some more stuff. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to find out. Meanwhile, I think Pearl has something to tell us. Pearl! Hello, friend. I've spoken to Loyal. The B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. There may be a battle in the near future at Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Goodbye. Bye. Convince the boomers to aid you in the upcoming battle. Return to Ambassador Crocker and let him know the boomers will help you. Tell yes men that the boomers have vowed to support you. The, I think those two are exclusion... They, they exclude each other. I'm pretty sure they exclude each other. Yes, they do. Because it's the wild cards. So we're... Yeah, we're going to see. In the meantime, let's do... Make sure I uh, I do the... Um, Crimson Caravan quest lines. Because there's a lot of stuff in the Crimson Caravan. And uh, we haven't finished that. So... Let's go there. Tiny, tiny babies, all you need to know about pediatric medicine. I think that's nobody's book. I believe that's for Delilah. Getting all the books then. Um. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? She says as she eats whatever that is in the wrongest way possible. Welcome back. 
I have the gun runner hall tape. The gun runners detected an intruder roaming around, so they'll likely be aware of the theft soon enough. This unfortunate circumstance will prevent us from immediately using their blueprints to manufacture weapons. A pity. I didn't know that they detected me. I thought they didn't, because I was invisible all the time. The Crimson Caravan Company no longer has to worry about Henry Jameson. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Cassidy Caravans has been bought out and is now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Are work contracts common for the Crimson Car uh, Caravan Company? Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time after which they get paid. After their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course. Any, what kind of upkeep expenses? Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes, just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Are work contracts legal? Yes, and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up for. We don't hide anything with fancy talk. Well, it seems like that the... Uh, it, what? It seems like that the companies are getting the better deal. That's because we are. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. I'm not really sure what that uh, question was about. Of course they're getting the better deal. Every working relationship... The boss gets the better deal because they don't have to work and the work gets, the, you know, shows up. Unless, of course, they, they really screw up, in which case then they don't get the better deal. But the it's pretty, te pretty easy to tell when they get the better deal. Is the company going under? No? Well, then they get the better deal, yes. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you need me to do? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there. Locate the bottle cap press and disable it. I had some questions about that. What would you like to know? Why is a bottle cap press a problem for you? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass-producing new bottle caps. Are new bottle caps ever made? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. What makes a bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. Okay, um... All right. Uh, bye. It's been a pleasure. I wish... I wish the game didn't talk about these things as, as, uh, as detailed as it, as it is talking. Because bottle caps don't actually make much sense... In, in, uh, hi, Don. Oh, you're here. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Is there any work to be had here? You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLaffery about work for hire. For sure, for sure. Why did you say I should ask? Or, no, I know. Yeah, bye. Good day. Uh, so, bottle caps don't actually make much sense. They... Mostly because, you know, the, you can make them. Uh, but it's just sort of a joke thing, and it's fun, but you don't really think too much about it. Because here's the thing. Oh, we're lucky to have a bottle cap over here. Okay. A, uh, a quest one as well. Uh, here's the thing. If you... Well, it depends on where you grew up, because you might have never seen it. Let me see if I can get this bottle cap up in my face. I don't think I can. But I grew up, I grew up in a place Good day. 
where my backyard yeah I can't really I can't do much uh, maybe a table is gonna help my oh yeah this this might help my backyard was full of bottle caps not full but like you could see bottle caps on the floor and what happens with the bottle caps is that people step on them and so they get all flattened out they really do look like coins but the way they were portrayed in Fallout 1, in Fallout 2 as well, there, there are some bottle caps in Fallout 2, is they're not flattened out. And I'm trying to see if these are flattened out. They kind of look flattened out, but I think it's just because it's simplified meshes. They're not completely flat. I think they're supposed to be like the bottle caps you get when you, you know, open a bottle. <laughs> With a bottle cap opener, you know what I mean? They maybe get a little bit bent. And... Uh, and uh, they, they, they look like a little bit of a of like a plate. They look like a plate, right? Well, here's the thing. Wherever we're going, and we're going. Let me let me select the quest. Pressing matters. That's a funny, funny name. Uh, wherever we're going. Ooh, over there. Cam McCarran. Oh, I need to take a photo there, I think. Um, wherever we're going, there's a bottle cap press. And what that is, it's a machine that makes bottle caps. And it's a press because they're cut out of a sheet of aluminum or whatever they're made out of. Um, I think I need to take a photo of that thing over there. Um, let me see what I can do here. There we go. Beautiful. And that, now there's another thing somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Um, let's go this way. So what they do is they have a little cutting round thing that, you know, is aimed at a sheet of uh, a sheet of metal and pressed against it. That's why it's a press, and it makes a round little coin. It's it's not like a bottle cap. Ooh, I had some bottle caps there. Maybe the icon shows, but. The reason why the bottle caps show up as a like a little plate with a little ridges and all the little roundy things is because they are after being made, they are pressed against the bottle by another machine, a machine with ridges, uh, with the ridges. And the reason why it has ridges is so that you can open them with a bottle cap opener. Because you could press one of those things into a bottle, and um, and close the bottle. But if it didn't have the ridges, you wouldn't be able to open it. I wonder how difficult it's going to be, because I, I, I have no idea where we're going, but anyway. Uh, but, so yeah. If they're making new bottle caps, which they might be, they would then need to close bottles with them and open the bottles so that, you know, the, the bottle caps would have that shape. So it's not just about pressing the bottle caps. It's also about bottling, which makes sense. I think we're going the right direction. Which makes sense, because this is a Sunset Sarsaparilla factory. But it's a lot more complicated than just making new bottle caps, is all I'm saying. There's no enemies around or anything. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Established in 1918. That's what EST means. Yeah, there's some enemies elsewhere, but not here. Well, we're, I'm sure we're going to find a lot of bottle caps in here is all. <laughs> it, 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 it's probably going to be fine. Oh, there's also some enemies. We got a pro Programmer's Digest. Still need to go to Robco. Ooh, oh, yeah, look at that. Do you see what I'm talking about? It's got, those, it's got those little ridges. Well, those are, as I was saying, because they were used for bottling. Because they're not made like that. What do you mean? Da -da 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 -da? It's fine. It's a broken shipping worker. It's fine. It's not a worker. It's a robot. Why'd you call it a worker? Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I know, Eddie. I know. I think it's upstairs. Ooh! 
No, that's Eddie. My dehydration level has, has increased. I don't think that was Eddie dying. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah, you're messing with the wrong girl. Will not be I think it will. I think it will be tolerated. Where? Where's that guy? Oh, down there, it's a Mr. Gutsy. Hi! Oh, it's a bottling robot. Marker number 27438 reported! There seems to be a malfunction with the light, sir! Wait a minute! You're not my manager! Intruder! Explosions. I am indeed not your manager. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. I know. I don't know where they are. I want to go back to the beginning because I saw a thing. It's broken shipping workers all over. Again. Wait a minute. Violent. Are they called workers? I think they're called workers for a reason. But we're going to have to understand if they're called workers for a reason or not as we explore this place okay so let's go back to the beginning that's not the beginning there's a machine here with a woody cowboy festus yeah i was gonna say that's that's from toy story but it isn't it is festus Pleased to meet ya. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. And you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, Say, I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say, silly old advisory. Let's start with Star Info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Why are these stars there? And what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. I drink a lot of it. Silly old advisory. <laughs> I think I think I know where this is going. Silly old advisory. I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Silly old advisory? What? 